Hello. Hi. I can't believe I'm finally filming this. Wow, I didn't think there'd be Halloween decorations behind me when I was filming this, but you know, it's fine. All that matters is we're here. We've made it. As you can tell by the title, this is the video. I think you've been waiting for. I mean, I can't count the amount of messages. Obviously, you guys wanna know like the story time, every detail. <laughs> if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, definitely go there because I have a highlight story section of a bunch of stuff, a Q&A about stuff and like some more photos and stuff about the day and everything. So definitely check that out. But I'm finally coming onto YouTube and doing an in-depth video because you know, it's what we do. So I didn't get any footage. Well, I did get footage, don't worry. I'm gonna insert some videos as I talk through and like do a little story time. This is gonna be like a sit down story time of the proposal, the engagement day, all that good stuff. What went down? in Italy, but there are no vertical like videos that would like be for YouTube. I only have, you know, phone videos that would be for like stories or TikTok. I don't know, just like, I don't have horizontal. I only have vertical videos. So I'm gonna insert those. Anyway, I didn't vlog like that day or anything. So I'm just gonna talk through it and add the clips that I do have while I explain everything. Does that make sense? I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> I couldn't just not post about it cause that would be weird. Cause I also have, I have so much footage. I just like have been waiting to sit down and do this video. We had our engagement party last month and I have a whole vlog from that day and I couldn't post that until I do this. And obviously we need this video. We need to talk about it, you guys. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. <sighs> Anyway, okay, so I don't even really know where to start with this, but grab a snack. I had Chick-fil-A just now. And if you are wondering where, I feel like I should do like outfit of the days on here. Pants are from Aritzia, shirt is from Aritzia. Belt is Hermes. All right, okay. You guys saw I've been uploading my Europe vlogs. We've been known that I've been back for three months. I don't know why. It's Halloween almost and I'm not, I haven't filmed this yet, but I went to Europe in July. I'm just gonna go through my videos. July 20th. 21st, 2022. That is when it happened. So did I know that it was gonna happen? That's the first question people ask me when I say I got engaged is, did you see it coming? So the answer to that is, ah, uh, somewhat, somewhat no. Like it's very, I don't know. Short answer, not really. Like I didn't know exactly when. Like I pretty much like knew it was coming. Obviously, since he showed me the ring, like he can't keep secrets. Let's start with that. Let's start with the ring, because that was before the day. So a few months prior to our trip, he was asking, I mean, we, we were always talking about getting married. It was no, it shouldn't be like a surprise. So we obviously talked about that. And then he started asking me more like detailed stuff about like rings. He would always ask me like to show him photos. I feel like, I don't know. I would just show him photos too. I usually would show radiant style diamonds radiant cut but anyway he was he was just you know asking me about what I wanted and then one day he was like you know I have this guy this diamond guy and um so what diamond like I don't know it was just very it got detailed it got like okay this is this is happening so then he was like so what would you like the ring to look like like the actual band and I said a thin gold band he would he would show me photos along the way he was like is this right like he definitely I mean you should know what the girl wants right anyway so he got it he got the ring and that happened once the ring came in he got it in his hand he had to show me like literally as soon as he got home from work he showed me I talked about this on Instagram but yeah so like I don't know he just like can't keep a secret but I kind of love it like he just wants to tell me everything as soon as it happens and I love it so whatever I mean I am really hard to surprise as it is like I just find things out like I'm just I'm just smarter <laughs> you know I find things out I don't think I've really ever been like super surprised in my life like I see things coming so anyway that's that so then that was a few months before the big trip and you know I kind of was like oh I mean if he's gonna propose like I mean Europe would be the place to do it like I mean it's romantic it's amazing it's like a crazy trip like this would be the time I would think that he would do it but I mean I don't know like I don't know if he just got the ring and was gonna like sit on it for a while and like you know just have it in case because that's what he kept saying he's like oh I just wanted to have it in case so you know I kind of was thinking maybe 
you. It could be Europe, but also maybe not. Maybe he's actually being like serious and he's just gonna wait on it. So then we go to Europe. It was like a month long trip. We were with another couple. You know, nothing was happening. We went through the whole trip. He did get drunk one night and uh, he showed that he had it with him. He had it on the trip, people. I knew that. He, he got drunk and he, he decided he needed to show everybody the ring. I don't know. Is that dumb that I still didn't really see like that it was a for sure thing after he did that? I was like, you know, that doesn't really mean that he's gonna do it. Like maybe he just brought it because, you know, just in case there was like a moment that he felt like doing, I don't know. So anyway, I, I still didn't really think, like I just still didn't really know. Hi baby. I didn't know that he was for sure gonna do it. I did not. I wish you were there, Archie. Oh my goodness, you love mom. Anyway, so I, I didn't know if it was for sure gonna happen still. And then it kept going like days and weeks went by and he wasn't doing it. But then he says his other best friend is coming to meet us because they were in another country. I forget where they were. And just this, this another couple was gonna come meet us in Italy for like the last part of the trip. So I was like, oh, he's probably, if he's gonna do it, he's probably gonna wait for Italy and he's probably gonna wait for his other friend to be there because he's very like, like friend orientated, he likes to have close like friends around him. So I was like, okay, if it's happening, it's happening in Italy, it's gonna happen, like, yeah. So then we go through the whole trip, we get to Italy and his friends there and days are going by, nothing happened and I don't know, I just really, I started to, I was like, he's not even planning it. And I feel like he would have to plan something. And it seems like he's not planning anything. We're just, you know, going day by day. Nothing's planned. So I just felt like it wasn't gonna happen because I just, I don't know. I just didn't think he was planning anything, which he wasn't. He was, he's very last minute. He was planning, but you know, he gets shit done quick. So it was like the morning of, then like things started happening. So now we're at the day we are at July 21st. So we switched hotels that day to be at like this really, we were at like a really nice hotel. Then we went to one closer to like the water and it was the most magical place. Like if you guys go to Positano, definitely check out the Il San Pietro hotel. It is just like, I felt like I was in a Disney movie. Like there was just butterflies and like, birds chirping and it was just so magical and like unlike anything I've ever seen. So anyway, we checked into their really gorgeous room. Somehow we got like the room like overlooking, like it's like probably the second best room in the whole resort and I'll, and we got it for very cheap. So I was like, why are they, <laughs> why are they giving us this room? Like maybe he said something. And then, so then the rest of the day we had plans to go to lunch with the two other couples that we were with and we took a little boat ride. It was around the corner from our hotel so you get on a boat and you go around the corner and it's just like this really cute like family owned restaurant right on the water just like the best pasta sorry I'm looking at my phone but I'm looking at the videos the best pasta you could have ever like imagined and just gorgeous 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 then we come back you know a few roses deep also earlier breakfast he was very quiet he's not a quiet person sam is just like life of the party very energetic craziness and he was very quiet at breakfast on his phone so now i'm like oh he probably was planning it at breakfast and <laughs> like talking to the people at lunch you know he was uh drinking lots of rose and just acting a little like just like kind of avoiding me which he doesn't do so i was like the vibes are weird i don't know i still didn't really know i don't know I I, I did, I was hoping, but I didn't want to like get my hopes up, so I didn't know. But definitely the vibes were weird and people were acting weird and quiet. Then we come back and everyone at lunch was like, okay, we got a plan. Like all of a sudden there was this sunset boat ride planned out of nowhere. I was like, what? And they were like, you know, we have to go on another boat, like one last boat while we're here before we go home. Like we need to go on another boat. We need to watch the sunset. We gotta go and do that. So Sam like gets a boat somehow. And I'm like, what? How did this happen so quick? What are we doing? I have to get ready. And so everyone was like talking about what time we have to start getting ready. And it was just like pretty obvious that like they needed me to get ready, have enough time to get ready. They were like, make sure you, you know, wash your, like, cause I was like jumping in the water. I was like going swimming in the ocean. I was really not, I was just having the best time ever. So they were like, okay, we need to go back to the hotel soon. You have to like shower and do your hair. So then we go back to our hotel. I want to jump in the ocean one more time. 
time. So me and Sam jump in the ocean one more time. It was really cute. Then I get ready for like three hours to get ready. Like that was kind of excessive for like the trip. So um, I had this yellow outfit on. Then my friend Faye was like, what are you wearing? Like she kept asking me what I was wearing. And she was like, I have this dress, like you should borrow it. And it was like the white dress that I was wearing. So I was like, okay, she wants me to wear this dress. I mean, it was pretty obvious. It was pretty obvious in that moment. But you know, he still had to try and throw me off. And it kind of worked, so I'll get to that. But so anyway, I'm ready. She comes up, we're drinking champagne. We go downstairs to get on the boat for the sunset boat ride, which I don't even know anything really about, but apparently we're on a boat ride. Everyone's filming, like pretty obviously, like since when do you guys like film so much? Usually that's me and I'm just like, you know, I'm just in the moment. I'm like, okay, they think I'm dumb. I'm not saying I know anything because you don't want to like, do that. Anyway, sorry, I feel like my story is long, but I, I don't know. I just feel like maybe you guys care about the details, so we're just gonna go with it. So we walk over to the boat. We got all this champagne. We got Dom Perignon, like fancy, fancy. We get on the boat and it's really, really cute. It's just like very Italy vibes, like this just, I don't know, really cute boat. And then I don't even know where we're going on the boat. And then he just, then he tells me we're going to Capri, which is like a 45 minute boat ride, but we went there earlier in the week and it's just like my favorite place ever. So he said, we're going back to Capri and we're gonna just do a little boat ride. I was like, okay, we're going, we're going to like the arches. Obviously you're trying to get to the arches, which is like really romantic. And you know, you go, it's a love forever arch. If you go under it, you, you're getting kissed then your love is forever or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, it's pretty obvious. We're gonna do that. Then on the way there, on the way there, we're just drinking, we're driving the boat or the captain's driving the boat and um, we're just, you know, chilling on the boat. And he goes, you know, this has been an amazing trip. Like Sam's just like, this has been an amazing trip, babe. Even though we didn't get engaged and he's like dead serious, but I'm like, really? <laughs> Why are you? I don't know. That could have been kind of dumb of me. I don't know. I literally, my heart sank in the moment. I'm like, wait, is this actually not happening? Because all the day, the day, the whole day, it just like kind of built up and I was like, this is happening. It's pretty freaking obvious. Like the vibes, the outfit, the boat ride, it's happening. And he just shuts it down and is like, even though we didn't get engaged, babe, like it's just like a once in a lifetime trip. I just had an amazing time. Like just try to like, I don't know, be a little shit. So <laughs> he was saying all that and I literally for a split second like was actually believing him that he wasn't gonna do it. But no, and then I was like, no, there's no way. He's just trying to throw me off. So then we get to the arch, we get to Capri, we get to the love arch and he plays our song and he goes up to the front of the boat. Everyone stays back. He goes up to the front of the boat and they're like, Sierra, go up to the front of the boat. And I'm like, okay, relax, I'm going. I know what's happening now. I go to the front of the boat and we're just looking at the arch and taking it all in he just starts I don't even know what he said, I blacked out, but I have the video and I'm sure I could like make out what he's saying if I really listen to it. But yeah, I pretty much blacked out as soon as he started talking and especially when he got down on a knee. I mean, I was like in the moment, I really just was paying attention to what he was saying. I just wanted to soak it all in and really just like be in the moment and I, but I still blacked out. Like, I can't even really describe. I kind of felt like I was on like another level in another world, kind of like I was on drugs. <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't know what that feels like, but I'm just saying like, it felt very unreal. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it was just like a whole, it was like, a, I was on a high level. Like I was, I don't know. I don't know. It was really sweet. It was really sweet what he was saying. And he finally asked me, and then I was like, yes, obviously. I don't even know if I said yes. I was like, <laughs> like crying. And then I like fell and onto my knees and we kissed and then we fell over. I was just like, also like I didn't, <laughs> I don't like attention on me, but I'm glad, you know, we had a few people there to witness it. And so there was two other couples with us. A few of them were FaceTiming our family and a few of them were like taking photos and videos. So we got everything, it was just like perfect and I wouldn't want it any other way. Literally couldn't have planned it better myself. I always 
pictured it to be like, you know, just a few, like very intimate, special. I don't know. I didn't want like all my family there just because I don't know when it's like, let me know if you guys are like this. Maybe I'm crazy, but there's just like too many people or even like family specifically. Like, I don't know. I just feel weird and embarrassed and like, I don't know, not embarrassed. That's a bad word. I just feel weird and awkward and I don't like attention and it to be even though it's a huge deal and such a special moment i just you know i like it to be intimate and that's exactly what he did and he knew that and he just made it special for us which was amazing and then i mean i don't even know then the rest of the night we just had an amazing intimate dinner i wasn't on my phone that like whole day which was amazing i was just really soaking it all in it was just perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. I loved it. And then, yeah, we just took a few more photos after, you know, it happened. He got, like, this beautiful flower arrangement that, he, like, was hidden inside the boat somewhere. I don't even know how that happened. And then the boat was kind of hard to, like, walk um, to the front and to the back. Like, you could literally fall in because there's no handrail. So I hand the flower arrangement to Sam's friend Nick, who was there. He was like, I'll do it. I'll, I got you. Like, just, you know, because I was walking on the side part. And he grabs them and he walk. He tries to walk on the side. He falls in the water. He falls in the ocean. And I have a video of him in the ocean <laughs> with the flowers. He's literally trying to hold up the flower arrangement, like, trying to save the flowers. I was like, you're too kind. Like, don't worry about the flowers. Um, but it was literally just like kind of made the whole day when that happened. It was just hilarious. Like, and he's pretty, like, he's clumsy. He's known for it, I would say. So it was just really funny. And then um, we popped some champagne. And it was just, I don't know, the best time ever. And then we drove back after the sunset. Drove back on the boat back to our hotel and we were literally just on the back of the boat um cuddling and just like i don't know it was like i can't even like describe it was like not normal feeling like totally unbelievable so we were just cuddling and he was like just saying sweet things i don't even know but yeah uh, it was it was amazing and <sighs> just the best night ever and then we just got really drunk um, at dinner we were dancing at dinner there was a live piano player we were we were dancing i don't know who has those videos i don't think i have those videos but it was amazing i, I that was that was pretty much it it was just amazing and this is the ring Yay. I love it so much. I'm just incredibly grateful and happy to be at a good place in my life, to be at a good place. Like, it just, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier with who I'm about to marry, our relationship. It's just so healthy and fun and the perfect balance of people. Like, he's my complete opposite, yet it just works so, so incredibly well. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. We had our engagement party, which will be the next vlog. I have all the footage from it. I just it has to be edited and then uploaded so i have that vlog coming it was so fun too we had a huge engagement party like literally like 72 people were there i don't know how that happened you know we wanted to celebrate because obviously the family wasn't there for the engagement so we wanted to have all our family there for a party and celebrate our engagement and we are gonna wait till early summer 2024 less than a year a little bit more than a year and a half because there's no way i could like I'm so indecisive and I want to have a lot of time to plan a wedding and not be rushed into like making decisions and I don't really know and like I want to I want to just get the venue on the day I want and like the photographer I want and just have tons of time to plan because I feel like 2023 would just be way too rushed at this point I would already have to like be trying on dresses and like I just want to take my time so definitely probably like June's like gloomy in California so probably July July is like our anniversary so I could see us doing it in July of 2024 and then yeah I I really we wanted to, we were thinking of doing an Italy wedding just because you know Italy weddings are beautiful we got engaged there and it was just amazing but we ultimately I think have decided against it we want to have like our grandparents there he especially he just has like so many friends so many friends and I just I just I don't know. He's gonna make this wedding be a 300 person wedding. I already know it. But I don't know. Either way, I feel like also I already have a wedding planner and like it's pretty, it's pretty much set. It's gonna be in California. So that's pretty much set in stone and like the year, the date and stuff. But anyway, other than that, you know, 
that's all I've that's all we've done. That's all we've planned. Oh, also, like I didn't post. Like I know, obviously, I'm filming this like three months later, but even after it happened, because it happened in July, we didn't post until. August so literally I think it was like exactly a month later that we posted and Announced it I guess on Instagram <laughs> because you gotta do that But that if you guys get engaged or anything like that Like I highly recommend just you know keeping it to yourselves for like a month or like even less It could be a week or whatever, but it might be po unpopular opinion But like posting it like that day. I, I couldn't even like do that I just feel like there was so much happening and I just really wanted to take it all in and it was the best decision ever like we flew home we like got settled back into like regular life after the trip and told like our close friends and family and everything obviously and then when we felt like ready we finally posted it and it was like honestly best decision ever highly recommend but okay that's pretty much it that's pretty much it and it was also really fun like having this little secret that like the rest of the world it was just like our little secret and like i don't know it just felt so special because it was a secret I keep I don't know if that makes sense, but it felt special and that nobody else knew it was nice It was nice. Um, I did have to like take off my ring and like hide it a few times that I posted But I mean, it was not like that hard to hide surprisingly anyway I think I've been rambling too long. So that is the story. I'm happy to be sitting here talking to you guys again I hope you guys have been doing well and I really missed you and I'm just Excited. Um, so yeah, get excited for more vlogs coming and the engagement vlog and holiday vlogs. I should do like a little fall Halloween. But in the meantime, definitely be following me on TikTok and Instagram. I've been posting on there and yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.